We're back for another episode of Sequel. This week, I was challenged to do The Thing, one of my favorite films of all time. Love John Carpenter. He's made some of the coolest movies ever made. We know the list. Yeah. The Thing, though, is up there, though, with one of the top ones. And God damn, this is going to be tough. I'm excited to see how you're going to fuck yeah. this up. <laughs> So for the first time, though, actually, this is the first one where I came up with multiple plots. I was trying to figure out different ways to go. I'm happy overall kind of with my third one that I'll save for last. But overall, like the first thing I feel like most movies would go with is like a a crew going back to see what happened overall. That's where I started off with. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest way to go with like because I do like the snow. That's what makes the one so like isolated and cool. Mm -hmm. And so that's what overall I wanted to recapture that. But overall, it started feeling like too much of the same thing. It's like aliens, essentially. Essentially, yeah, because aliens is like them going back to like see what happened. Same thing happens with like just a bunch of those style sequels. That's why I think they went with the prequel for the newer one with Elizabeth Winstead. Mm -hmm. Um, It was a prequel about the Norwegian I still haven't seen that one. I still want to see it. Uh, I haven't gotten around to it. I just know that they find, like, uh, I know that it's the Norwegian crew, but for whatever reason, they all speak English. (laughs) And there's an American uh, Elizabeth Winstead with them and shit. Yeah, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, excuse me, uh-huh. but uh, I mean, I got it right, basically. Sometimes I just like to say people's uh, middle, middle and name last only. name. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Uh, but I do want to see, I just know that overall people don't like it because they went with a lot of CGI. It started out with practical effects, but the studio pushed CGI. Yeah. And uh, what I did like from when I read about that one is, because I've seen the original 50s one, it's called The Thing from Another World, that's mm-hmm. what it's called. I love that movie, and actually I think in Halloween, uh, that's on in the background yeah. in one of the scenes. True. And and uh, what I liked about the prequel, I guess, from what I heard, was that they find the thing in a block of ice. But that's kind of getting off point, though. So overall, I was going to say, like, I overall, for my first premise, I kind of wanted to do a twist. Uh, Keith David plays Childs in the original. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, like, theorize that he secretly was the thing at the end of the movie. And the mm-hmm. movie ends with uh, Mech Ready, played by uh, Kurt Russell, saying, like, well, we'll just see what happens. So overall, I wanted to, like, fuck with you in the beginning of this one Mm -hmm. with my first premise of the movie where Childs is actually innocent like they find the body of Childs and nothing was wrong like he was a complete humanoid everything was fine and then eventually though just like kind of midway into the movie uh what's it called like possibly Kurt Russell like comes back but like he's the thing the whole time like I don't know how but it would just would have been a cool twist I thought but overall, though, then it reminded me too much of Alien Covenant. Fuck that movie. I'm going to spoil it for you. Uh, what's it called? I was enjoying I was enjoying that movie until fucking David from Prometheus shows up. And that's where I just, like, I couldn't get it out of my head. I was like, all right, fuck this. Actually, I fucking hate this uh, sequel of the thing. So that's where I stopped there. I was just like, okay. it would be cool to see Kurt Russell come back. And that would have been a cool twist. Like, he mm-hmm. was actually the alien you're rooting for him like trying to get rid of it but overall like the twist for this one would have been he was the thing yeah but that's where i was just like okay never mind i'm reminded too much of david from alien covenant and prometheus i can't do this <laughs> so i stopped there and then i was like all right well you know what it's a sci-fi movie let's take it into space maybe or something like maybe uh what's it called like uh, we don't see them go onto another planet but it's like astronauts like you know they're orbiting the planet and somehow the parasite gets in and stuff and mm-hmm. i thought like oh that would be cool but we literally just saw that with life. And also it is literally just alien the movie again. True, so I yeah. kind of stopped there. I was like, okay, like before I wanted to develop that more, I just stopped. So what do you think of these there. ideas so far? Uh, the <laughs> first one, it depends where it would take place. I think it would be cool if it took place right after mm-hmm. after that one. Or also 30 years in the future yeah. where like we, we no one's, it's like secret intelligence. No one's gone there yeah. because of what went down. Mm-hmm. And now they're visiting because like it might be safe now. Yeah. But then, like, all that stuff would happen. That could be cool. Second one, it's like, yeah, it's it's just another one of those space alien movies. And, and they don't yeah. really, like, I feel like the best ones have already come out. I mean, unless you had a really cool twist on it. But for a sequel, I don't think yeah. that that's the right take. So I'm interested right. to see where you're actually going to go. Yeah. for the, So this is the one I have developed the most overall. And, I mean, I like it. This is where I'd kind of want to see it. But I can understand I'm probably going to fuck up your world and stuff. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are fans of the thing. I'm a huge fan of the thing. I do not want to see a sequel to it. I mean, you could easily make one. But I think what I said for the first one just makes the most sense. Like, mm-hmm. a studio probably would push that. Like, yeah. don't break. No, we want to keep it familiar. Keep it in the snow. 
So I change. I want to keep the feeling of isolation because that's what makes the first one work so well. Yeah, the definitely. feeling of like, oh, you can't trust anyone. You're isolated. So I wanted to do that again, but I wanted to get rid of the snow though. Overall, I hate the desert. So I wanted to take this into a whole new thing where it actually takes place kind of on like a desert expedition. Uh-huh. So what I have for this is um, like kind of people exploring like a tomb possibly not saying it has to take place in egypt i kind of imagine like maybe mexico like an aztec tomb or mm-hmm. i don't want to do a pyramid i feel like that's just too big of a place that sounds too much yeah. like so overall i just imagined a tomb and it's just an expedition taking place in the 80s there's no cell phones so that's cool like they do have access but it's like going to be at a camp that's like you know maybe a mile away so overall with my premise i had uh, a group of people going into like a tomb and then inside a tomb, like it's all dead bodies, but it's so the thing needs like a living being to live in. That's the whole point of the thing. Uh-huh. It's been living just off of bugs, though, overall. So it's going <laughs> to come off like similar, like maybe there's other animals, but overall how I imagine it, it's been living in bugs overall. But there's like some now I don't want to go like mimic on it, like have giant cockroaches and shit. But overall, it just starts out with a bug. It's been living in the bugs and then uh, eventually someone gets it. Uh, parasite wise and like these are all people they're not like action heroes and stuff like so i i don't want that feeling of like there's that hot shot guy who's gonna mm-hmm. there may be like the one leader the person who's leading the expedition like he was hired overall yeah to just like kind of make sure everyone keeps safe so that would be overall the main tough guy who knows he doesn't know what's going on but he does not want this thing to outbreak i like how the first one they all accept their death Mm-hmm. They all say, like, no, we cannot let this thing escape and yeah, everything. I think that that's badass. And so overall, he'd be the main guy. But everyone who's working there, they're just, you know, they're archaeologists. They just want to find this stuff, get it into a museum. But they're not prepared for this. They want to get the fuck out overall. <laughs> so, yeah, in Antarctica, you know what you're getting into yeah. overall. You know that, like, you know, you're stuck out there. You're isolated from life. Like, you don't really have an outside life. Like, that's your job and your living to be out there. Mm-hmm. So this, like, that would overall be different. There could be some annoying characters that you actually look forward to dying. Yeah. But I didn't want to recreate the blood scene. Like, that seems so awesome. But I feel like uh, you do need to have that scene, that intensity moment of them trying to figure out how, like, who has this parasite overall. I just like calling it a parasite because that's kind of how I imagined it overall. Mm -hmm. Uh, So without, like, the blood, they're not scientists, you know, so they're not going to draw blood from each other. But overall, just, like, have a savage moment where one person gets stabbed and they know that they're, like, uh, like, after arguing, like, oh, how do we know you're not the thing? They like someone gets stabbed and they like after they survive, they start like feeling like they need to stab each other's legs. That way they can't escape. Like the main guy just goes absolutely crazy. Like he's just someone you cannot trust at all. It could be like a sunshine type thing at the end you know in like sunshine where mm-hmm. like the captain turns like evil and yeah and starts going ape shit that's kind of where i have with this guy he's uh-huh. the crazy one he does not want anyone to escape so to stop people from escaping he fucks up like each person with their like he cuts open like their thigh and then like you can have a cool moment finally where after cutting one person's thigh like the thing like opens up and i of course want it all to be practical effects too that's what made mm-hmm. the original thing Definitely. so cool um, but I just like, I think like with a tomb, like, uh, or not having a tomb, but like, I really like the descent overall. So I yeah. kind of want that kind of imagery where it's just a cave. There's so be some like, not hieroglyphics, but just ancient artifacts I think through there. So I think like to fix what you're talking about, essentially the best way to do it would be there's like this meteorite that lands in like Mexico, yeah. like in the jungles or mm-hmm. some shit. And like we don't South have America. to show that. I like that uh, overall, the original thing, like I did rewatch it. You mm-hmm. see a, the movie starts with the UFO, but you don't see a crash. Mm-hmm. And then eventually though, you find the UFO and they said like, oh, it's probably been here for 10,000 years. So that's what I kind of imagine. It's been in a tomb. It's been stuck in there, but it's mm-hmm. been there for years. And that's why it's been living off of bugs. Like it took over humans, but eventually... It's no humans human. have been there. Yeah. Maybe even. So yeah. when it like finally gets there, it's all like all stoked. It's been stuck living as bugs mm-hmm. and it just wants to find the next big thing. Like that's what I've always liked about these things. It wants to find a new host and find the bigger, better host. Mm-hmm. 
and yeah. Godzilla. Yeah, yeah exactly. It just wants to find Godzilla eventually. <laughs> but for now, though, the main thing it's trying to get to is the crazy captive, like leader of this expedition, mm -hmm. and it never gets to him. I feel like, but then event that guy does. That guy it. goes crazy in his yeah. own right, like yeah, and then yeah. he's worse than the thing. Even <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's like he is worse than the thing. Yeah, I was kind of thinking also you could do like I like how the original is kind of a metaphor for like the Cold War, but yeah. maybe for this one you could do like a metaphor for like illegal immigration because maybe they get trapped in there mm -hmm. and like the government won't let them like it's a government-led expedition yeah. they won't let them out like into the world like that guy won't let them out right. either yeah like so he's like stopping people from... i do want them to be able to have like a radio access moment or something mm -hmm. and uh i mean it might be a little too much i just thought of this ending right now maybe like one person does escape mm -hmm. and then like the twist is like uh finding like uh someone is there to help and stuff like thank god like and then like uh where is everyone and like they're all dead and like you're all like sad and like oh they're gonna escape no then they get fucking killed and stuff like Damn. they can't risk it getting away so overall that is my third and final premise of the thing i know that like i kind of developed overall like the story but i didn't go into the characters overall but this is a really hard movie that i don't want to see but it easily can be made into a sequel at any time like why not? Why hasn't there been a sequel? It's just because it's hard to do. You it's don't because know. everyone loves the thing exactly. and no one wants to fuck it up. That's right. why there's not a sequel. They tried with the prequel, but they fucked it up. So we're not going to see another one for at least a decade. Thank but, God, yeah. right? Let's be honest. So in a decade from now, we might see my story developed or something. <laughs> Most might. Likely. Most, Most likely, likely not, though. If it is, though, if they are going to redo one, it probably is going to be, though, just them going back to the original Antarctica uh -huh. location and be like, oh, what the fuck happened here? Yeah. yeah. I doubt we'd see Kurt Russell, but maybe a dead body cameo or something. Possible. Yeah. So anyways, uh, what are you going to challenge me next right. week? You know? So uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, it did get a sequel and there was talks always of a third sequel, but never happened so i kind of see close where, out the trilogy yeah close out the trilogy or maybe continue on the series and stuff okay. um overall like it's a movie that a lot of people like i know you like the first one the second one's like not terrible but i don't really like it though there's a lot wrong with it i think feel like you might already know what it <laughs> Fuck, is i'm looking at it yeah, right now you are looking at it yeah. i think so the first one is my favorite one of my favorite movies 28 days later Close that and shit. Out. Yeah, I was literally looking at the DVD. Over we got there. the we got the VHS, but then the DVD for 28 weeks later. So where are oh, you gonna go with God. 28 months later? You could go with it, that. Isn't that supposed to be? That's what they always I said. Hate 28 yeah. weeks later yeah. though. Yeah. Like, like. Oh wait, no, no, no. Sorry. It, 28. It had yeah, a really cool weeks premise. Later. It had a really cool premise. I think, but the characters I didn't give a fuck about. Uh, I just don't want to have to rewatch 28 weeks later. You don't have to. You just read the <laughs> Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you really need. Just phone this shit yeah. in. You can rewatch the first one and maybe try to live up to some of that stuff. But overall, 28 weeks later, why not just read the Wikipedia? I think it's... it's. Just, I'm basically just going to remake Land of the Dead. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> right on. Okay. Well, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be talking about 28 months later next week. Just one week away. I'm talking about 28 months later. Mm -hmm uh sequeled oh we special post-apocalyptic edition yeah post-apocalyptic edition first one where we're finishing out a trilogy yeah so looking forward to that guys tune in next week 28 months later later